Alright, welcome back everyone. So, last night we killed Walhart. And still have no access to defense tonics. Thanks, game. Which means now we're going after the Grim Wheel. Wait, whose birthday? Muriel's birthday, apparently. <laughs> Shame we're not using her. We did get a self split though, interesting. We're gonna do a bit of reclassing in ways that I didn't quite plan for. Since, uh,. I was originally wanting to do Bow Knights of Era, but... Armstrift tomes have been so funny that I feel like I'm gonna just... I wanna keep that, so I'm gonna flip her to Dark Knight instead. Cause she can't really stay in Dark Fire. But there's too many... there's too much anti-air around in the next... While it's not gonna let her be particularly functional. Even though technically Robin and Donald could handle those enemies, it definitely restricts her movements a lot. And... The 69 hit points is with a Seraph rope, so like her base hit points were really bad. So it's not like we can just brazenly face tank a bow either. So, since we like movement too, we're gonna go Dark Knight. Also, being able to hit Pavis and Aegis. Since we could. We could do Sorcerer and probably be relatively successful, but. Uh, we can't duck around Aegis if we do it that way. Let's see. Hmm, are there even any B ranked tomes? Yeah, I guess there's the Bogganon. Yeah, that's the only B ranked tome we have. Everything else is either C or A. No in betweens. So boy, is she going to have fun with this setup. <laughs> Selica's Gale, Bogganon, Levin Sword, Erica's Blade, and Leaf's Blade. Severa's just a walking armory. Gonna be no armors in 21, so I'll leave that in the convoy. Can we buy arc fires? 
Hooray! <laughs> we can buy at least buy arc fires, even if we can't buy defense tonics. We're just gonna grab the one. Because we're about to unlock a shop that lets us buy Arc Thunders, so between Arc Thunder and this Arc Fire as a backup, we should be good. Theoretically. So, Severe is at 45 luck, so with Morgan and Electonic, she can be set to lose no durability. What can I fix you with? Which is kind of fully online fairly late into the game compared to how we normally do it with like Warrior Morgan, but still. Severia doesn't have the benefit of uh, Rightful King. Hmm. I'm gonna buy a few rest on it, see if I can. I carry only the finest. Some of the support battery and stall, because stall is just flat garbage res. Might be a little afraid of the Myers here. Actually, Nigo's in a pretty bad spot for that, too. Guess we're going with that defense sonic. Kind of can't be helped. I'm gonna give Gaius or Frederick to Olivia to give her more movement. But Cynthia would legitimately give her more bulk just because Rez. Eh, 39. So she does. She doesn't need Cynthia to survive, so I guess that's fine. Give her Fred then. Mm-hmm. 
Is Donald gonna need a speed tonic? Hmm. He should be okay for now. Sword Masters are almost pushing it, but because he's using a big speed base like Cordelia, he should be fine. Hey, Sevis. come up, but let's keep it a spare rescue on Cordelia, <laughs> in case we need to do a whole three range rescue. at this middle mire may take some doing. Maybe we're best off going for this back one. So we need to kill one of them to keep the support battery alive. Or I guess say, we could say well out of range I suppose. Yeah, we could do something weird like put Donald here to bait this guy into fighting him over the wall, and then this assassin will attack him in melee. Donald. 
So we probably want to discourage that rune. Well, actually that rune would be whatever, targeting him, probably. So we're probably not that concerned. Especially since with Cordelia he's got like 38 res. Just came to say hi and kill every last one of them. Uh, thanks. Okay, and turn five is when we need to start being worried about the quad stairs. So hopefully we move a bit faster than that. Actually, Krom could have made that more dangerous because <laughs> he added some damage for vengeance. So I probably should have unequipped him.
Probably gonna have to be a bit careful on healing here, too. Might be a bit of trading concoctions back and forth. Rick Rom. Oh wow, he's fighting bow to bow instead of going into melee against Donald. That's funny. Don't see that too often. Actually, pull these guys over the walls with Donald. Potentially. But he's got. Mm, yeah, they're gonna see him with more res, so they'll probably go after Robin instead. How long have you been standing there? Hey, Kirby, thanks for the raid. Yeah, the rest of Cynthia's paralog go. Only eleven Sagan's gal uses left. Heard put to good use. <laughs> Sounds like you need to find some arms ripped. So, welcome raiders, we are in chapter 21, just got started, and we're moving through trying to shield the support battery and stall from, uh, the Myers. Because <laughs> the carriers are generally unconcerned, since these guys can't forge their weapons and can't get procs with their weapons. But, 39 is actually kind of threatening for units that are only halfway raised.
since he is feral, I can be tricky. Yeah, it's significantly more complicated if you get a uh, bad counter set up. Because we had to get funky on the right side when we were fighting our way through there, too. Do we really want to end up just waiting here? Especially since we'd actually pull like all the enemies <laughs> onto Donald, which would then mean we can't Gale Force hop as easily. I guess regardless, we do need to kill these guys here. It was nice, Cynthia, if you think she had Lance Frank to use Cordelia's Forge Beast Killer. Nice. This map has become one of your favorites. It is... It is a very interesting change of pace from... your typical Fire Emblem map. Kill this guy. Stay focused. We can do like funky rescue forward strats if we need to, but this is just too juicy not to do with Donald. Because he gets rid of so many of the ranged enemies. Including one guy who has the silver sword and counter and can and will go into melee range. <laughs> Should probably actually hand axe. Because there's one age it's no Pavis. Although, Hand Axe doesn't actually have enough damage to be guaranteed on this Mire. Alright, fine, let's do. Let's do Killer. Hey, Gerate. How's the run going? Fairly well. Being a bit greedy going for this skill buck, but why not?
gonna do this. We can heal after next turn. But what I want is Anna to loot this now so that she's not lagging behind. And since it's a noble rapier that sells for a decent amount, it's worth using one rescue use for it. Fine, Samara is not very concerned about taking a Meyer hit or two. I guess we can still springboard off as Swordmaster. Although it doesn't quite get us as close as I'd like to. We can trick this guy into attacking us from these stairs. Tana, you're living his best life, be hawing his way to victory. Yes. Shadows of Blood, of course, shadowing. <laughs> Killer, any phase killer bow eraser. Makes sense. We need to stay out of range of that guy, though. So we need to do that. Gonna rescue Anna over the wall. And Donal is gonna, or Anna's gonna pull Donal over the wall. Hmm. 
So then we can face tank this guy, pull the assassin into... into dying. Let's see, he's a silver. If he doesn't die, he should be very close to dead. We're gonna do this. He'll love you back to full. Get everyone else moving through. This <laughs> rock, you've got a new schedule, so I, you need me to keep you away. Come. Are you doing like night shifts or something now? But I will do my best. Night shift. Oof. Well, good luck with it. <laughs> I'll try to do my part to keep you alive and ticking. Or awake and ticking. Hopefully I don't need to keep you alive. Hmm, once we get past these guys, there's actually not a whole lot of counter left. At least in a way that matters. Ha! The Olivia Jukes. guy going to the stairs because the enemies prefer terrain. Right. So doing this tricks them into using their bow instead of meleeing us and dealing potentially a lot of counter damage. Guys coming along for the rise, a bit annoying. Oops, I didn't use the luck tonic, and uh, we actually hit that 2% to lose the... Or I guess it's 4% to lose a Selka's Gale use.
Actually, you're probably okay, because this guy can't reach up here. So we're probably okay letting this guy just fight whoever. So let's do this. You've had your schedule slightly messed up by your work changing your end time. That sucks. It's always not great to have work spring that kind of stuff on you. Actually, we can do. And reach from here. So let's do that. Is now open. Next turn, we have to start worrying about stuff spawning from these. So we gotta get a move on. I think what I might do is I'm gonna rescue Anna out of that room so she's here. Which also means that the Myers spawning here won't be able to attack her. Thank you. 
Okay. Actually, let's see. Hmm, he rates better on the silver sword, so we'll use that. Magic Samara is so weird to see. <laughs> Her magic is also not that great, but Armstrith with Celica is fishing for dual strikes is just a funny way to get things done, basically. <laughs> And some things just have such low res that she kills them anyway, like the Berserker is definitely just straight up die. Face pull this up, Donald, and not be too. not really be afraid of anything. We kind of got everything we need, so you could probably just pull this. Or kill this mire with Severa and then pull the boss. <laughs> Magic Seedon works. That, yeah. Although it's kind of more like quadding Seedon works. <laughs> I still use a hand axe since it's the uh, cheaper of the weapons. Bye-bye, boss. <laughs> hmm, do we actually have anyone who can use a bolt axe this time? Probably not. If we wanted to meme, we could put it on Donald, but it wouldn't do as much as his bows. <laughs>
And Morgan is a non-axe class this time. Okay, let's see. What did that Anna shop pop up with? Early Brave Axe. And a Thoron. Um... Guess we could buy it and give it to Donald if we wanted to. Hmm. So is it worth spending twenty four hundred? Probably not, because we're still in a place where we do enough damage without needing it. So we'll leave that behind for now. If it was discounted, I might have considered it more and more readily, but. What can I fix you with? Yeah, spikeable arc thinnies. Actually, let's do three. Unfortunately, Saul didn't really get to do anything in the last chapter. Let's see. Nope, we still can't buy defense stomachs. I'm not sure how readily we'll need tonics for this next one anyway, because they can usually be handled in a pretty controlled manner. And we've got a large team of carries, so... Shooty Jenna. What's up? Dead Lords are up. Did we check this one? Oh yeah, right, this is the Wormswear one. Not very interesting. I am thinking I probably do end up or am gonna wanna end up doing Yarn's Paralogue. Because both Donald and Severa would like to see or have a bit more weapon experience. But like, experience experience wise, I feel like we're not in terribly bad shape.
Donald's hair ain't gonna work. Hmm. Bowbreaker's gonna drop him down to like 70 ish hit rate. Well, no Hawkeye win a plus on the waist. That's usually really scary. <laughs> if it act, if it ends up happening. So we're stacking up a few extra support ranks here. <laughs> Thank you. 
<laughs> okay then. They didn't even get to act. Hey, Ruby. <laughs> Thanks for the Prime resub. Appreciate the support. Okay, good job, Saul. The boat, you fell's gonna do twelve to him. And then we're looking at forty four damage from Valfline. Little if. Just a little. Forty-seven speed is kind of in a place where it's just barely. Doubling here too. We also need. We need Cordelia to get her last two speed. So that Donald can hit fifty speed with a tonic. I guess we're not doubling there. Cause you fell probably makes them too fast. Yeah, just barely too fast. If Cordelia is at 30 speed, it would uh, allow Donald to double exactly. Are you ready? 
Once Severa hits A tomes, we can give her infinite Valflame. Yeah, Thief Pen, because Stolv was actually doubling some stuff, so we were we did that to keep him afloat. Although he's needed a lot of speed boosters since that, so. It still keeps them doubling the slower stuff. The thing is that going for full defense stack on him would have been not great with Luna Plus around. Because getting doubled by Luna Plus is really, really bad. So even just maintaining nominal speed to not get doubled is better. Even we're not plotting with Severa there. Okay, I guess we're gonna do this. We'll take some counter damage to preserve the UFL uses, because we don't we're not gonna have arm thrift for bows. It's worth rending these guys are the Yugdral originals. Uh, depending on who fights them, I guess. But probably the Yugdral originals, because they can actually basically ignore your defense. Although, I guess, depending on what you roll, like, Gallus, get it rolling Hawkeye Winna Plus is intensely scary. Probably scarier than anything the Yugdral guys bring. But. On a general basis, I'd say the Yugdro guys are probably more consistently a threat, unless you're bringing entirely Nihil units against them. Hmm, are we going to be able to muscle through this? We might be able to just crit enough, I guess. Otherwise... Actually, if we dance Donald, that's probably easily fine. Maybe? Well, he could proc Pavis, but big hand axe attacks anyway. And Aegis is blessed, so it's guaranteed. So I think I'd rather... I'd rather go after him with a double Donald Dance over a double Severa Dance. Or a double Donald Attack over a double Se Severa Attack. <laughs> wow, alright, Morgan did absolutely nothing. Okay, what we're gonna do is this. 
Yeah, if things look sour, we can rescue Severe and Robin Ayers. Hmm, Cordelia's not gonna be doing anything, so I guess we'll just equip her and save the Luna. Just do this. I don't think Pan could even do enough damage with the Armor Slayer for it to matter, so I'll let her attack with the Bronze, just in case it gets her some extra weapon experience. I am with you. This is my turn. I'm here. Ray, weapon experience. I oh, guess. get away with hmm, no, if we crit ourselves and we end up dying or if we crit them then we take too much counter damage and die So we're gonna do this and rescue it. And then Sever can do this. Mostly take like four damage if miracle procs. Twenty four magic. Oh, my. And a bullion. We're gonna circle around here, see if we can cause them to do dumb things.
Ah, no speed on Cordelia, though. Actually becoming a little worrisome there. Although they are, these guys did still end up dividing themselves a bit. And we'll be able to force the sage to go up, probably into this corner is what they're gonna do. Or not. Four is not enough for the double here. I guess if we'd use the tonic. I've got 
Well, that works. Well, that works. Hit rates are definitely on its stellar. It's all right. My turn. We need a little rally luck. We get a kill. <laughs> this poor city feels less good than the original. Maybe just a bit. But only just a bit. I don't think Severa will be doing infinite ball mowing anytime soon <laughs> with that sea swords. So I'll we'll use this opportunity to have Cordelia pick up a bit more experience. Because Donald's gonna be in a real weird spot if. He doesn't have enough uh, speed. And that requires Cordelia to either gain two speed or for us to get another speed wing and throw it at her, I guess.
I guess Donald just takes this one. So alternatively, Sabera could go for it. Severa would do a much worse job of it. Another Celos Blade. I don't know if that's our second or third one. Squish. <laughs> Be defeated, but I can't afford to fall here. I must retreat. Indeed. Hmm, now there's a Brave Axe for sale, and a Brave Bow for sale, and an Armor Slayer. Hmm, kinda tempting to blow my money, all my money on this. I carry only the finest. Or I guess a good portion of my money. We actually got a bunch for if we sell off all these billions and the beast stones and stuff. I think I've ever gone beyond C with Donald and Robin before, too. Hey, Donnie, you remember that box trap you helped me make? Oh, I caught a boar. Just look at the sides of this thing. See, as big as this fish I, fish I caught here, thanks to your tricky hook. Whoa. Thank goodness, I think we're gonna have leftovers tonight. Heck, if we smoked that boar of yours, we'd be set for a month. Yeah. Boar jerky, my mouth's watering just thinking about it. And speaking of, I was working on ways to improve that trap. I think I got a better trigger figured out. You should come by and take a look. Yeah. Swell. I got a new hook I wanted to show you, anyhow. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to us, we're obsessed. Hmm. Eh, ain't that the truth. We ain't even on larder duty. Yeah. We should be, the way we're stocking provisions. Yeah. Where do the others that think we're a right, right pair of greedy guts? Where are we going? Hmm, I suppose surfing down boar isn't very ladylike now that I think about it. Huh? Huh? Are you japing me now? You're the finest way I ever met. Back in my village, ain't a single milkmaid could hold a candle to you. Uh, Donald, you're, you're kind of married, by the way.
How do I skip tech so fast? Um, you hold down an A. How kind of you to say, Donnie? Do you really think? Yeah. It ain't just you neither. Every gal in this arm, here army is a knocker. Yeehaw! Oh. I see. Saving face, since, you know, kind of married to Cordelia. Pan just feels like she's in a terrible spot all the time <laughs> with her experience right now. Rescues if the chapter 12 shop is open. Nice. What can I fix you with? I might have to do a bit of rescue spamming with Cordelia if we want to try to get her the stats. We'll see though. Hopefully. Hopefully we can just uh, get it naturally or have an Anna shop show up. <laughs> He's not cheating on his wife, he turns out he's just being a pervy lecher. <laughs> Seems that way, isn't it? We're talking with no filter, I suppose. Uh, Alright, let's do yarns to hopefully accumulate some extra... extra weapon experience here. Considering whether I should second seal Libra or Anna, but I feel like at this point, if I did, probably wouldn't matter much. I guess I could put them in the Sage. It might give them better... Let's see. Yeah, we'd have a little bit better rescue range. Plus, they could gain more magic for more rescue range. Yeah, maybe I'll do that on merit of more rescue range is better. You're well pissed off at this game you're playing right now? Which game are you playing? Yeah. 
Anima has almost 15 rescue range after this. Just gotta gain one more magic, so not bad. Okay, I guess if nothing else, we're gonna give a walk tonic to Severus. I need to stop forgetting so that she... Actually, hmm, no, her base... Never mind, I guess her base luck is good enough. That she'd have 100% as long as Morgan's with her. But I guess this gives her 98% arm surf in the back row. <laughs> Which is kind of funny. I carry only the finest. Now they can use the rank tones, yep. Which if they get to level 15, I will probably equip just a whatever E rank tome so that they get plus 5 magic for the increased rescue range. <laughs> okay, right, dual guard plus yarn. We definitely won't be using him, it's just funny. Dugard plus and lock touch. Actually, he might come around long for the ride in of Lucina and just... Well, let's see. No, there's no lock touch stuff left, so never mind. It's too late for Yarn to be useful. <laughs> Should see like this. Yeah, actually use Sonic's here because things might get a little intense. Especially since half the map's not even revealed until we decide to fight all of them. Demon Gaze, it's basically a hard... You must be this level to pass on one of the early bosses. It requires using one of the class finding skills for the main character's class. Say so he doesn't get into level 10, you encounter the boss at level 8, so you've got some grunting to do. Oof. Boss using the ability that reverses your formation, the main character gets a skill that can fix your formation at level 10. Hmm, that doesn't sound like the greatest design.
So I'm not a fan of hard level gates like that. Corner of the overlapping Hawkeye Winna Plus. Fun times. Cavalry is bringing an awful lot of counter. Or I should have used a speed tonic with stall. I guess I still can. And now. Oh damn! What? Error. <laughs> Fifty. Are you are you sure you didn't uh, add an extra zero at the end there by accident? <laughs> Well, I guess regardless, <laughs> thanks for gifting 50 subs to the community, and which is basically everyone in the room right now. <laughs> That's a lot of support. And I now. don't know what to say other than thanks so much. How do you throw 50 subs and miss you? That's a good question. I guess 50 out of 52. <laughs> Although I guess, hmm, some people are already sub. That's interesting. I don't know. And now. Twitch, what is, what is your selection here? <laughs> I thought you were supposed to prioritize people that we're viewing at right now. <laughs> and now. <laughs> Thanks for gifting to uh, Shadow, too, Kakaru. <laughs> Close on the gap. <laughs> yeah, thanks so much for your support, everyone. It's not even September yet, but uh, yeah, I appreciate it. I guess Fred's got a lot of talking to do. <laughs> and now. Well, enjoy. Enjoy your subs and your uh, ad free and viewing, everyone. <laughs> And now! 
Lots of nice people around here. <laughs> and now. This was an accident you put your phone in your pocket. And now. What? <laughs> That's That's a hell of a pocket and dial now. if I... that's what happened. <laughs> I'm very curious as to how it registered that way. <laughs> and now. Or am I correct and in now. guessing that you just accidentally put an extra zero in front, of, possibly because of the pocket dial? <laughs> I know my phone's done weird things to me now. when I put my phone in the pocket before, but like... Nothing that's, uh... Being on this, <laughs> this scale of accidentally and spending money. <laughs> and now! And now! Well, I suppose we should probably get back to uh, actually and fighting for now. a bit here, huh? And now! You've been explaining the hell out of heal the healing staff you pulled out of one of the demon circles. It's basically and an infinite no. use free healing item. Combined with the double item of use artifact you got from a quest, you've been surviving fights you have no business surviving. So it sounds like they wanted you to grind and for those no. other quests then, too. It sounds like a very grindy game. Yeah, I guess we can still talk to Yarn here and then rescue him out. And now. That way he gets him out of the way and not in a position where he might accidentally suicide on us. And now. Father Severa, uh, yeah, why not? <laughs> you make it sound like that's a bad thing. And now, it's all right. Because Severa's been going hard abusing that aptitude. And now. Damn, all this ages. And now. And now. Yeah. 
And now! <laughs> it's awful. Now. Well, then who did you want to Donald the Father? <laughs> and get over here. And now. And now. Now the question is if I want to put Donald on the left or if he should be helping stall. You should probably actually be helping install, because there's and now. a lot of counter coming here, and Do Donald can basically sit in the middle of them with their, his bow and not care. And now. So let's go ahead and put him over here. Well, I think with all this Aegis up here kind of makes us suck for Severa. And now! But she does have 48 and defense, so... Uh, I guess in the very least these guys are not really a threat to her. So let's put her far forward so that they don't get pulled towards our... Support and battery. Now. Should Father Morgan? Eh. I guess that could have been and an option. Now. He thought he should, he should Father Kiel. That's what we were and going for at, at the start, but... Uh, he wasn't able to do anything as a frontliner, so Sully Backpack and wasn't doing no. anything for him. So we had to do shenanigans to force feed him, and by the time he was actually in a place where he was marginally functional, it made more sense to and pair no. Cordelia to him. Oh, denying potential experience to Cordelia, of course. Damn it, Donny! I have you using the not killer bow for a reason. We have the edge. Ah! My turn. 
You've been playing Sway of the Spire recently? <laughs> Take a long hiatus with it before, or...? This is definitely not pretty. We snipe these three, though. Hmm. Gives, gives us a buffer to work with where the enemies, counter enemies, can't reach us. I'm going to take the counter damage just to be certain we get this kill. Because Morgan's going to be hiding behind Severa anyway. Allows us to get. Come with you. This with Severa and then end the turn on the general. Which means then Robin is free to get one of these. <laughs> Steve is recommending horny deck building games, eh? Although I guess that's considering the overall Steam library, it makes sense. I guess we're gonna need Donald's help here. I'll keep you alive. Ah, oh, Pan, come on, you could at least get the weapon experience. Stay calm. How about this? Right, there's their eight bows. <laughs> I mean, I, th I feel like uh, Steam is 
is pretty uh, inclined to make those recommendations without anyone asking for them. You can do this. Uh, so you think it's a quality game that the devs tacked on um, the horny stuff because they wanted it to sell better. <laughs> Enemy targeting is all over the place here. Alright. Almost scared. I'm here. Probably half the enemy ranged calves are gonna suicide on Donald. <laughs> it's probably a good thing, it makes space. That's just weird. Coming in like that. Now strike. Glory hog. I can't afford to eat the counter damage again this time, so I'll just have to chance the javelin and dance if it doesn't work.
It is sad. Kind of conversation have you walked into? A uh, discussion of um, why Steam has to be like that, or Steam Shop has to be like that. I need to think about doing some active feeding of Cordelia. Because we still need two more speed. You don't know if you've ever bothered looking at your Steam recommendations. I rarely do, but occasionally I have a gander and it... It does usually come up with some weird stuff. There's like... I get half stuff kind of matching games i played before and other ones that are like, well, this is like 20% related to the game genres you like, right? But it's also a horny game, so you should totally like it, right? Right? You know what, Severa's got that up here. I'm gonna position Robin here to help with the shenanigans. He spent too much money on trading cards to afford to go window shopping. Oh dear. I know how that can be, though. I definitely spent way too much on magic back in the day. Man, what are you doing? You can at least pretend you want the weapon experience. Hey, goodness, Yu-Gi-Oh! has a good free-to-play game. Okay. That's where it starts, right? <laughs>
We are definitely completely destroying our dual strike weaponry. We're gonna have to buy some more silver gear. has a, a forged tomb too. It's kind of annoying. Can't quite reach up there. Maybe we get rid of this one then. That way, Severa is facing less overall damage. Ah yes, yeah, souling for two damage. Quality proc. <laughs> There's a running joke among your friends now about one guy, you know, just plays whatever appears on the Steam front page. Because whenever you buy a game, you see the Steam friends who also play this game, his username's always there. That's funny. Maybe I'll start visiting the villages.
Gotta block that two damage. Hey, Pan actually hit something for once. To 25 magic. Hooray. How are we doing on tomes? Oh, we have eight atoms. Good. Now she can have infinite valve flame. <laughs> distract those guys for now because we still need to kill the two bosses and loot the sparkly tiles in the villages. And with the Luna guy gone, there's really not anything that actually threatens his uh, big physical bulk right now. Mage Knights and Warriors doing work is this engage. I mean, Warriors are always good in Awakening. And then they kind of stopped existing in, uh, in Fates. And Shadows of Valentia, because Kaga hates axes. And then they had the misfortune to be an A rank certification class in uh, <laughs> three houses, which was really bad for them. Hmm, how much damage do we do here? 14. That's potentially Pavis, so can we do 25 damage without killing him? Seems a bit of a tall order, because I feel like we're just going to overpower him. <laughs> Or just like do nothing. It's kind of the problem here. Hmm. 
Well, I guess Stall himself can soften him up. Hmm, maybe I trade that Levin to Pan for <laughs> this finisher. Although, how much will she do with the... She's only got four magic. I guess it would allow her to fish for um, Stall to come in here and finish him. My power is yours. Ready? Oh, uh, <laughs> Stall about to just steal the kill, I guess. <laughs> Even through Pavis. That lunacrit. <laughs> well, so much for feeding. <laughs> greedy soul is greedy. I guess she's almost at least at uh, C Swords, so we can arms scroll her to B. That should improve her attack against targets in general by quite a bit. So one of our big problems is that she never dual strikes. she gets a kill on this, so... <laughs> so reminding who's everyone who's number one. <laughs> but he himself says he's just average. There's no way we're gonna do that with Pan. So I guess this is just another stall kill. Which is fine, he's been kind of starved a little bit in this back half of the game. Taste my fury. At least the uh, FP16 maps weren't painfully gimmicky like in Fates. A few of them were. But, yeah, it was generally, I guess, the exception for it to be gimmicky. Drago Shield. I think this was a Beast Killer. Yeah, there we go. We got another Beast Killer. It should help with Chapter 24. <laughs> Kaya's Pyre. Hmm. If we didn't have a, a Book of Naga with infinite uses for uh, Sapphire, <laughs> this would actually be pretty good for her. Number one of being average. Thinking emoji. <laughs> to 
You know, with a strength tonic. Oh wait, she already has a strength talk on. If the curse of being So an unpromoted uh, pair up backpack. Although I guess Donald could also rally over the wall and stuff. These guys don't have counters, so we can lure them into attacking stall to hopefully get her a bit of um dual strike experience if she's feeling cooperative. I like how she was getting all the weapon proficiency as a Tigual, and now it's almost impossible to get it for her. But 30 experience is pretty good, I'll definitely take that. I think they're being sneaky. But it's they who are being snuck. One more combat.
That 39 defense. It's a shame it still gets shredded by anything with Luna. Or Luna Plus. Something for Pan. Less than I wanted, but something. Wow. Enough Annas? Our Queen. Hmm, Silver Lance on sale. We did want that silver gear. Okay. Extra hammer. Uh, hmm. We just got one. I don't think we need an extra hammer. I think we've... We've pared down our axe units a little bit too much at this point to really need more than two hammers. Uh, I think I'll buy the energy drop as well. So buy this... Take your time. Silver Lance on sale. These other silver weapons on sale. Plus the energy drop. Which we will give to Pan. I guess we have two energy drops. I could give them both to her. Sure, why not? Also, I should have given that spirit dust to Severa and I didn't, so let's fix that now. There we go. And now has the uh, inventory full of heavier weaponry. I suppose I should also buy second seal. Stall is almost max level. I think I'm just gonna reset him. Actually, let's see. Is there anything with synergy? Because all of going paladin would get him a bunch more speed, but it also cost him his axe rank. 
or axe access in general. I'm definitely not starting any bow stuff. Yeah, there's really nothing I want to change him into that's not Great Knight at this point. We're going to be doing chapter 23, put it quick here. The only thing you don't like about the 3DS maps is differentiating between plain and not plain tiles. Yeah, some of the forests in the 3DS games is pretty funky. It's kind of a, I feel like it's a carryover ish from DS FE as well. Especially since New Mystery just outright lies to you in one of the prologue chapters. Which is pretty incredible. Hmm. Don't think I want a Hellsloth in this map. Well, Armad's though. In case we need that. Hmm, I guess we should have... And carry an elixir in case Stala gets into trouble. We really completely destroyed Morgan's inventory. <laughs> Talisman and Draco shields and secret books. I should probably distribute them. Also, let's buy more hit point tonics while we can. I carry only the finest. What's wrong, Saul? You sound a bit down. <laughs> well, I apparently need to practice then. I was supposed to be that, or it was supposed to be a sigh of relief. Some friends were in a bit of a row, but I managed to calm the waters. Hmm. You're always doing things like that, aren't you? Helping others with their problems. Most of us are too busy looking after ourselves, but you always find the time. No. Well, in a way, it was for my own sake. Trouble folks make me uncomfortable. 
I see friends fighting, my first instinct is to intervene and restore the peace. <sighs> ah, now you're acting humble and deflecting praise from yourself. Huh? Eh, sorry, is that annoying? <laughs> Not annoying, no, but you should stand up for yourself from time to time, too. For example, you could start by telling people that today is your birthday. Wow. Huh? You knew? Yeah. I found out, yes, but not from you. Friends should be able to tell each other that much. War may be raging around us, but that doesn't mean we can't have fun sometimes. Um... I suppose. All right. You spend so much time looking after other people that someone has to look after you. I've decided that someone is going to be me. So here, have a couple of fried big cakes and honor for your birthday. Thanks. Ah, oh, my favorite. Thanks. Your true friend. Standard yarn paranoia there. Mad lib paranoia, of course. <laughs> ah, yes, the Maribel Surge, because we're totally deploying her. Yep. Almost base Maribel in Chapter 23. The enemy will never see that play coming. Also, I guess that Worm Slayer Anna really wants us to buy it from her. She's still there. I'll have Olivia carry the second seal, like his stall might not be near Robin or Crom when he hits level 20. Yeah, at this point I wonder if I should <laughs> should have uh pre-class Lucina to something like Cleric. Be a little bit meme but also let her actually do something. <laughs> she mostly just sits around with Anigo, while Anigo does rally luck. And Korg would probably put her up to like 15 or 16 magic. 15 or 16 magic isn't going to be a huge heal, but it'd still be something. And I guess I could have ended up doing like meme war cleric Lucina or something, but oh well. <laughs> I'm sure we'll play Awakening enough times that I'll eventually get to doing something like that. Alright, let's do tonics. Yeah, I was gonna do those stat base spheres too. Not sure on who I want to give to. I could throw more of the Draco shields at Stall, I guess. Cause Donald's maxed, Robin's maxed. Severus probably close to max and will likely max on her own. 
And so will probably get up there too, but hmm. Actually, let's look see what his cap is. Fifty is a gray knight. So we could throw it on him and he'd be at forty-three. And still have room to get seven more. Seems decent enough. So we'll get Severa, I guess, for the sake of it. So Severa stole the Dark Knight. Hers is forty-five. So yeah, she'll probably get there. She's far off, but she'll be doing enough enemy phasing that I think it's quite likely that she'll get there on their, her own, especially with Aptitude before Stall gets anywhere close to his cap. So let's do that. Three fire defense. Hmm. Alright, now these guys are fast enough that I think we need to give Donald a speed tonic, so let's just do standard defenses. I think Stall will double this hero, too. Are about done. So since we're coming up on ads, I'm gonna go refill my drink and then we'll come back and take this on. So be right back.
Alright, I'm back. How does this map work if Krom and Robin are entrained? Uh, for most people, you cry with sad. But I believe the 0% run fishes for a mire cred or something from the bottom here. Yeah, there is a bit of leeway, like wiggle room, to attack Validar with mire over the barrier. So, I think that's what the 0% strat is, kill Valdar with Mire, because his stats are not very good, so... <laughs> if you have... Hmm, I'm not sure who would do it. Maybe Anna? Actually, I don't know if she has access to Sorcery, so it might have to be Libra. Either way, his stats are low well enough that you, you should be able to kill him with the Mire from Chapter 21. And then Ro Robin and Krom run and hide in the corner because they are very scared. even has listed crit against Donald. Although, because of the Falcon Knight pair-up, <laughs> it's a whole 8 listed damage, so crit will only do 24 to him. He also is not going to get a chance, because we're going to crit him first. Best strat should be to only train Krom so that Robin can hurt him even if they tried. <laughs> Perfect. A plus strategy. <laughs> now that's strategy. It's the perfect strategy. Stay with us. You're finished. So we got another rally strength that doesn't require us to use Donald's turn. Yeah, we totally double this guy. Thank you. 
not quite. It's all right. Here's how it's done. That's it. Oh, that Demon Gaze game lets you shift uh, difficulty at will. So I guess it makes sense if they're expecting you to do farming shenanigans for every obstacle you come across. <laughs> Counter is actually fairly reasonably dispersed. And there's a bunch in the back, but by the time those back ones reach us, we should have picked apart the rest of his troops. We want to move north. Like, it's tempting to fight these guys here, but we want to move north just because the uh, reinforcements are going to come out of the stairs and we want to be clear of those.
to victory. No. Face me. Stay focused. I swear again, I guess. We do have axe breaker, so we can ignore the tomahawk dude. Aha! Full heal. I guess it kind of makes sense they go after Donald over Stall there, but it's also annoying that they did. Hmm, I 
wonder if Pan could grab that. It's doubtful because Pavis, but maybe. I mean, Soul doesn't do anything to kill stuff, but it does help our sustain. Actually, I guess with all those energy drops, it does put her in a place where she kills this guy. Take that! Let's do this. Ah! Is she gonna run out of Selica's Gale uses? Nope, never. We are Arms Thrift Gaming. Rescue Dan's put her back in the fight, but would it matter? She doesn't want to be in, or Saul doesn't want to be in range of any of these counter enemies. So probably just rescue and then. Mm, I guess dance anyway, so they're in a position to take advantage of things, but I don't think. This turn it's gonna matter. Actually, we got one more turn before we worry about these guys on the left. Right. I think we can hang back and gank them. It's 
say goodnight. Got him. Yep, there's more defense and speed. Ah, uh, no bullying. Rescue out. We get hit by everything, plus get crit by ruin. Stay focused. Come on. Hey, good night, Shadow. Thanks for watching. Have a good sleep. I also use a pyre here too to make sure we have a little more health even in the worst scenario. Let's just do it like this and rescue out. I 
can start enemy phasing more readily here, too. I guess Samira is also just immune to being crept by this guy. So we'll put her in range. This is the last turn for reinforcements, too, so we should be able to push in after. Zero damage added to Rick with vengeance.
soul, so I guess we'll use a elixir. And then she just. Well, yeah, it's not bad, but not 100% hit rate, and then she just dies. And also doesn't do enough damage. The absolute lack of any kind of uh, dual strike there. Hmm. Actually, we're gonna have to. No, oh, is he in trouble? Forty-two. So. 31, and then this would be... Fifty-four might... Against... Forty-five, so... Minus twenty-three is thirty-one. I'm not sure if I like that move. So we're gonna rescue him. So like, it basically kills him. He barely lives, but then he's not in a place where he can be fighting anyway, so it's like... Doesn't feel worthwhile. Stay calm. Come on, Donnie. 
Needs <laughs> help. Rip Cordelia experience. Doing the emblem Robin stage, yes. You do I remember the, all the fire spells Makai used in Radiant Dawn. I know, right? So iconic. Cordelia, get some speed. Nope. Still stuck at 28 speed. Alright, this Cordelia would be definitely not wanting to be frontlining <laughs> with luck like that at this point. Big yikes. To reset his level. Hmm. 
<laughs> she would totally probably cap speed if she married Krom. Yeah, it's none of that weird marrying so thing. Just uh, have a cross dimensional marriage. Easy. My strength is yours. Check me. Well, rip that guy. Also, rip Chrome experience, I guess. I don't think there's any chance. Yeah, Pan doesn't survive the bandage and wouldn't have enough health anyway. And also, if a Tavis, she would fail to do enough damage. General. <laughs> Cross dimensional engagement. Ah, I stand corrected. experience for for Cordelia and see if we can get her that speed Donald needs <laughs> becoming very annoying Chip experience to heal, Vasilia doesn't. Lingbe does not. Hmm. 
More experience. Pan might actually promote before we finish the game. <laughs> Vantage Vengeance. Fantastic. <laughs> well, she's halfway to nine now. Yeah, Libra and uh, Olivia were married mostly for the Parawog, for experience for people, and I guess the treasure too. Although, I have actually been using an ego to rally luck, uh, rally bot if I need Libra to heal. <laughs> Yes, I got an ego of the five kills, which was more annoying than it should have been because we kept critting stuff that I was trying to set up for him. Cordelia is going to get the half durability forged beast killer.
Okay, nothing in that there. So I guess we're just ready to go. I don't need the hammers. Let's do Killer and you fell. Oh yeah, I guess we got Needhog and Astra. Had those around for a while and didn't use them. These guys are fast enough to require. Yeah, Doll's not gonna need to have a speed tonic here. Stall will, though. He almost. He pretty much always needs it just because he's always on that. 
Teetering on that brink, even though we fed him three speed wings and <laughs> the Naga's tier. The question is if I want to have Severidum here, which I think I do. Twenty eight magic now. Mm, that wyvern kind of ruins. A prospect of a good enemy phase there. So I guess we'll play this a bit cautious here. Thank you. 
Damn it, Chrome. I even made sure to give you the rally luck. Although I guess that's injured enough for it to not matter. It's all right. You're finished. Right. Have a chapter called Awakening. Who would have thunk it? Yeah. <laughs> Still no speed. Damn it, Cordelia, you're screwing everything up for Donald. Oh, trade it for the elixir. Well, that's annoying. I thought the map was called Sleeping. Ah, that's the cheeky bear log.
This guy might run back in Elixir now, too. It's damn enemies. Can't make up their mind. There we go. Alright, I guess they won't be using the elixir because the Valkyrie just suicided. It's a chance to get rid of that lance. I get him. Thank <laughs> you. 
And drained almost all of that hit back. Considering if I want to actually have Stall do this, because Pan is never gonna hit this Wyvern. So it's probably better to have Basilio clear it. Might always think there's a big reinforcement turn here. Uh, I mean it elevates so that on the fifth turn there's a bunch, but it's after also adding in um, four ways before that. So if you're not far up killing all of them, then by the time the enemies have all finished spawning, there's like 20 reinforcements all together. <laughs> Which can look intimidating. Sold for three health. Encounter. I could equip it and he could slowly chip some of these enemies. It's... Sure, let's swap it in because it's funny. Can't agree to death. Unfortunately, you can't, because dragon skin makes him immune.
Maybe we face bow soul tanking, you know it. gets rid of him at least. Even though he took a lot of damage for it. Keep soloing on the second attack, which is uh, a lot less helpful. Alright, 
now that we got things under control here, I'm probably gonna have Stall fight this 1-1. One -one. I'm pretty sure this guy will have enough of void after triangle that <laughs> and won't be able to hit at all. Yeah. Even with Celis Void, it's gonna be like six listed. <laughs> Actually no, this guy's gonna have 119 of void against her, so no matter what I choose, she'll miss. Quad misser. Hmm. So many want to avoid. Anyone had 159. So, you just miss like three eighty eights. Last reinforcement turn. This might actually be deadly for Donald here. Get ready. You are so dead. He basically needs to dodge the Valkyrie or Soul or block the Tomahawk. Alright, he's fine. Now we can move away, since we don't need to block the spawn here anymore. Hmm. 
No defense, eh? Stay with us. Here's how it's done. We're not done yet. Time to tip the scale. That's it. Yeah, let's pull this guy into Robin. And move over here. This paladin into stall. Theoretically, I guess stall has 50 D defense. He, they might still want to go for Donald because Donald's less bulky. <laughs> well, let's see. <laughs> Getting them with big counters against their Luna Plus attacks so is pretty funny. That 71 hit rate is a big no to me. Yeah. 
so want to use a lance because of Swordbreaker. Swordbreaker is so troll on these guys. That takes care of that. Second. We do have the superior sword. Superior edge. The thing is, we don't have quite enough damage. Superior Edge is so close there. You gotta throw a hand axe and see if he misses them and she hits or something wild like that. Now that guy's just gonna explode. Seems about right. Yeah, 
Damn, the hit rates here is so bad. Hmm. Eh, I think we're just gonna not bother with that sparkly. Actually, I guess hmm, we could cut him out to make sure you we're not like flitting around the woods. Which might. Yeah, I could actually like Chrome reach that, so you know what? Let's do that. Weapon proficiency, which he doesn't need, but I guess would have been useful. We can completely train up his lances, I guess, but eh. Hand axes, they're busted. I mean, hand axes and javelins, despite their low might, it, their ability to trigger dual strikes kind of makes them still very useful. Vantage would kill her, though. Damn Vantage. Hmm, yeah, let's do this. Take that. Don't you dare move. It was your time. <laughs> Perfect. Definitely not getting HP tonics again anytime soon. We do have 12 in our convoys, so something to work with.
You fell got real beat up. Unfortunately. Hmm, so I think because we have time, because Cordelia still needs a too stupid speed, we're gonna fight it out with, uh... Chapter 25 and see if we can get the levels so that she can, you know, actually let Donald quad. Otherwise, we're probably gonna be finagling things a bit. You can't believe I'm calling Cordelia slow. No one's ever done that before. <laughs> I'm not calling her slow. I'm just saying she's two speed off of the benchmark. And she should fix that. Because, you know, it's kind of rude that she's not helping Donald as much as she could be. <laughs> Too many pies. Maybe. So that does mean we have to deal with the chapter 25 reinforcements, which are kind of awful. <laughs> so, that's gonna be fun. Also, I guess we gotta snipe these Myers, too. Otherwise, that's gonna be very bad for a support battery.
I'm not sure if Saul is going to be doubling these guys. Donald's definitely missing the double on the Sword Masters. That's all I'll win a plus. It should be fine, because this guy's not going to have hit rate with... Oh. On him because of Axe Breaker. Hey, yeah, I guess we got a few bullions we didn't use, but we'll be using those on the brave weapons. Actually, wait. He might be doubling them. With the tonic here. If not with the tonic, I guess you Bill will do it. We have two turns to clear stuff out and get clear of the starting zone. Because generals come from behind on turn three.
of course, Acrobat Anna is really funny because she can just run across the mountain and rescue people up there. We need to position for it. Thanks, Madrid. And the pets. So yeah, we need to defuse at least one of these Myers. Um, hmm. I guess we need to give Olivia a hit point tonic so that if she's caught in range of a Myers, she survives. If she gets hit. should have yeah, ads are coming up real quick here so I'm gonna let those run refill my water and then we'll make our way through this and then kill Grima so be right back
Alright, I'm back. Uh, let's kill some Grimly I guess. Really now. To... Yeah, there's Cordelia. <laughs> like, who am I missing? Okay, so we're gonna go... Vera kills this. Let's see here, 60, so that's 12. Or it's 48 against 60, so 12 damage from Swordmaster, although I guess I could go as high as uh, 30. And the general could do 36. Hmm. So we probably don't want to actually be here, unfortunately. Unless we could kill, probably kill the general, I guess. Or the Swordmaster. See if we can get both Swordmasters, I guess, and then after rescue, we'll be out. Guess we could crit and not worry about damage. Okay. 
You know, I'm not sure if I want Salt to pull these. It seems... I feel like it would be kind of gross. Because we'd be getting these three and then... Our killing power would be kind of low over there. The one mire onto Severa, which is good, but you can do this. Do we have enough? Here's how it's done. I think we barely had enough defense without relying on Soul here. through Axe Breaker. Kind of annoying. Actually, Axe Breaker and a Mountain at that. I still moved anyway, but it's better that we're over here and don't have people like all the way over in the middle of them. Cilia wouldn't have to worry about being doubled if we had him do this. So I guess we'll go for that. Do this to... Uh... At least we'll attempt to do this to open up Donald's turn. His hit rate is definitely not the best.
Should be feasible. Nice crit. I don't really want to pull those just yet. So I think I'm going to double back. I'm going to rescue so that... I can go here, kill this general. So we do have a buffer with the two Myers down now, even though this Meyer over here is very annoying.
Actually, hmm, maybe what I should do here is... Rescue Basilio out. him bait both of these, just heal himself. But that's fine. Rolling on the last hit of the Bravo, so we only get ten. The Myers are out of the way, although still need to be very cautious because of the way these enemies are spawning. Thank you. 
Nice block. Getting dark flyers. Spawn spots are four and five above the corner here, so that's one, two, three, four, and five. So right there, we want to just counter one of them to death. So 73 is 22. 22 and 34. If we get by both of those, we can go here to bait them.
And after this, we need to sort of squish in, because stuff is going to come from sides. Sides and behind. And of course they come from the sides again on the next turn. But if we make it past turn 6, and turn 7 and 8 just spawn beside a Versa. Soul there. You saved my heart. Hmm, I guess this guy couldn't reach. Thought he could. That's weird. A life taker. Uh, you know, at this point, we probably don't need veteran anymore. <laughs> so let's use life taker. Sorcerers. Waste could spawn with Hawkeye win a plus, which would be devastating, so we need to not... Just be sitting in range of that.
So I guess let's get rid of this guy first. Gonna make sure we clear these. Just because there's gonna be so much more stuff coming. As a general. Hmm, is that it's a trickster though. Okay, you can reach. Okay, I guess the sword of sage was on the left side. So I misread that a little bit. It's Hawkeye, but no. Win a plus, so we're probably good. So right here is where we also get two dark flyers. Thank <laughs> you. 
Perfect. Since Levin was only gonna give us a 50-50, I was gonna see if we could crit through first. Take are already uh, being helpful. These caps are ass. Yeah, we knew that coming in. Ages, huh? Um, sure, we probably don't need veteran anymore there either. We are still getting stats, but like, there's not much combat left. We had to take some pressure off of Donald. Thank you. 
The top one was a griffin. I thought it was double dark fire, but apparently not. Here's how it's done. My turn. Thanks. Okay, that guy's still too excited to dawdle anyway, which is good. So now we want to kill the fires behind us because that generates. enough space for us to move back. I guess it doesn't matter too much, but we shouldn't be using the Armor Slayer for that. Hey, Micah. Thanks for the raid. How's uh, the, uh... What were you working on? Were you doing animations? Hey, my door! <laughs> There's indeed Micah. Yeah, the D&D crew came back from vacation so you could finally do your third stream. How'd that go, then? <laughs> Almost total party... <clears throat> or total party killed, right. Uh... Yikes. <laughs> but you just almost, right? So you survived. For some reason, the DM thought kamikaze droggers were a good idea. They totally are. I see no problem with this.
Go level 4? Yeah, okay, 50 damage might be a little bit much for level 4. That probably could have been scaled a bit. into Silvera. <laughs> One shot your paladin twice. them back and another one boom <laughs> I'm right here. sounds very unfortunate Set up is a little gross. They just died before they got to counterattack. Once you min-max your critting abilities, you should be good. If you survive that long. <laughs> stonks.
No funny weird acrobat stuff from these tricksters. Which is good. So I don't like this rally move being in play. I'm gonna use some rescues to get that taken care of. So we don't have an easy out if Morgan decides to screw this up, I guess. Let's, let's actually just edge bait it. So I guess we're using a bunch of rescues for no reason aside from, I guess it got us rally magic. It's not terribly exciting, but it's there. Should be the last set of reinforcements. You can do this. Hold on, I'm coming. Here's how it's done. I'm done next. That's it. Are you ready? Here's how it's done. For city with an enemy hit chance, how to accurate to source material, truly.
Okay. So 16, we take 38 twice. Not a huge fan of that. Granted, I guess they'd have to hit us. So what if we use Loven? Probably be okay to bait like that. Actually, being on the mountain would drop the damage down a little bit too. A little precarious, but they are stepping the tide at this point. Finally, 29 speed, but she needs to get another level to get up to 20 or 30. money.
Grima gives her when boys lunch money, how generous. <laughs> Damn you using your physic. Physic squirrel. So we need to get a range here. Probably the easiest way is just to rescue here. Yeah, I forgot to put the rally back on after I threw Cantor on as a joke. Whoopsies. Thank you. 
Yay, she's at 30 magic. That took a lot of work. No way she's gonna... Oh, she does have 100% hit right here. Let's see, no vantage. We're gonna get pen promoted, so now what we need is for Cordelia to actually get that last point of speed. Property of Pan. Not that there's much game left for her to use it in, but she has it. Thank you. 
There you go. Took a couple of energy drops too, but she actually has respectable attack from the back row now. Weapon proficiency, I guess that helped her staves. She probably didn't do too much, but yeah. <laughs> Should probably also at this point have a javelin on her, see if we can get any snipes. Because a kill should be worth quite a bit still for her. I'm gonna have Donald walk up with his bow equipped and just face tank this trickster. Oh, yeah, because we still have counter equipped, it's actually dealing damage to him. The counter wars! Damn it, Cordelia. <laughs> we just need one more speed, can you please? <laughs> that trickster didn't come for whatever reason. I guess he's separate. That's <laughs> not accidentally in turn, that would be catastrophic.
My physic now. Getting a particularly fast game for her. about these. Can't do this, but something maybe a little weaker. Well, we're still killing them with dark fire, apparently. Now that strategy. Oh well. Since we did enemy phase, that still opens us up for staff experience. Come on, Cordelia, please. There we go. <laughs> Finally. 
Now Donald can be as fast as he was meant to be. So we just need to clean up the rest of this and get out of here so we can go kill Grima. <laughs> Perfectly setting up to give Pan the kill. What a nice general. I can't believe it took until basically the very end of chapter 25 to get Donald to 50 speed. <laughs> I guess we'll have Donald do a verse in. That extra training towards uh, D bows.
One day Pan will use Astra. Not today, but one day. Okay, Anna. Why'd you spawn? Spirit dust. I'm probably actually gonna buy that. Cause Severa. Here we go. Thirty. Thirty-eight, which is not gonna damage Grima, but should cut three of the stuff around him. Experience for a Neo. I guess we'll put X back on. We're gonna try to set up so Donald gets the kill on this. I think he's not super far behind where Morgan would have been, but Cordelia is also not a paladin. So we'll deal a bunch of damage with Krobin and then have Donald go in for the finisher, I suppose. does mean I guess we'll be taking that Celica's away from Severa. We're gonna buy Donald a new uh, Brave Bow. Just for the sake of it. Because we could technically forge the halfway one, but... I think we should do it, I guess, right, quote-unquote. Here we go. <laughs> clear the way with. If we need to clear the way with Severa, let's use an infinite Mjolnir. <laughs> Welcome to 
can I fix you with? And then tonics. Hmm, I guess we need a few more strength tonics. I carry only the fires. Skill books aren't really going to be helping Domo. Let's do. Let's give all these secret books to Chrome. The Goddess Icon. There you go. That should make its hit rate a little bit better. Can't do that. Because <laughs> Cordelia will be able to deal chip damage. It's really not gonna matter, but we're dragging her along as a backpack. We might as well do it to be funny. Time for Country Kid to kill a god dragon. Yes, that's our aim. I guess I'll make Olivia or Inigo carry Olivia.
You can see there are only eight movie in it that's uh, not preoccupied. Unless I wanted to make Severa do it or something. I guess technically Stall could also do it. <laughs> Actually, hmm, we could do it with someone who's not an ego, actually. <laughs> we could make Fred do fairy. Because we could use Rally with Lucina. <laughs> Rally move, let's go. <laughs> And that lets Nico do his rally lock. We've got everyone. We got the key people in places where they need to be. We technically don't need to be too uh, too finicky about who starts where, as long as Olivia and uh, the Ralliers can reach, and of course Cordelia can ferry Dawn all over. It's a bad time to ask if Grima can do a flap. <laughs> Fortunately, our boots are strangely magnetized. Alright, I am going to go refill my water real quick, then we will kill Grima and watch the credits, and... I guess... do the... the usual... Check the character rolls and see who got the most kills and stuff. Donald should legitimately be pretty high. So, be right back.
Alright, and we're back. You know, it's actually, despite the issues with Cordelia getting to 30 speed, it's probably some level of fortunate that we had to swap to her. Although, I guess if we'd been running her on the side, we could have had rally speed and it would have been fine to have Sully on Donald. But this did let him reach the 50 speed. Alright. Let us... I'm gonna fast for the dialogue, but... Try. I can't remember if pressing start here skips the entire sequence, so we'll just do this. Because we'll have the rare stall and Donald uh, pre Grima dialogue here. Yes. What? Shall we then? Oh yeah, I guess Fred is here too. Although we get his dialogue actually surprisingly often. You can do right, it. here we go. Wake up, Dusky! Only I get to oversleep. Be strong. I'm here. Have faith. There's Don't Donald. Give up. It's alright. Let's see what you They're all your Hey, uh, I need you to come back, or come on back. You hear? You can do it. Steady. <laughs> yeah, Nikos, I can think of nothing worse than dying alone. No, seriously, I can't. That's so depressing, actually. <laughs> My great knight lady does not appear to be wearing any pants. You mean dark knight? But yes. We do not wear Don't pants on horses look. here. Come on. Come on. Okay. Now let's get this show on the road. Okay, yes, we know you're moving.
Okay, so... Alright, I didn't rally magic, but actually, maybe that's for the best, because that'll... We want to do damage here, like, a decent chunk, but we also don't want to end up killing Grima <laughs> and stealing Donald's glory. <laughs> yeah, Donald's gonna do the final fighting. Like, ideally, we just do, like, 30 damage. It's all right. Time to tip the scales. Cause that's... That's gonna be the, um... The d I guess that'll be a little more than the difference, but... Approximately the difference from, um... Donald not having a paladin backpack. Actually, this th just straight up kills because we did enough damage that Donald just wins. Get ready! Huh? How about this? Damn you! <laughs> nice 13% crit. There we go. <laughs> Just... Good job, Donald. You yeed her ha. Right. <laughs> Donald the Dominator, yes. Thanks for the GG's. <laughs> I was letting it going non-fast forward because I was, um... I was wanting to let Donald bask in it for a bit, but he decided, no, I'm just gonna crit. <laughs> So I guess we didn't need the uh, the rest of that setup. Since we definitely did poke him, Krom poked him for way more damage than I uh, I was expecting. Especially since he was a little bit more underleveled, so his chances of hitting were a bit oof. <laughs> so that's why Donald is going to be able to go a second time with Olivia if we needed it. It would have been funny if we we actually did go to it since uh, we've seen his rally move was going to let Fred actually ferry Olivia up to him. I don't think we had any turn counts that were super crazy here. Because it's not like we did any weapon, serious weapon breaking like with uh, the Radiant Dawn run or anything. But we did have a few longer-ish ones. Thanks for the GG. So I guess now we'll see... Who had how many kills? And I guess I'll read off the unusual marriages.
Red Sumi is definitely something that's happened like at least four or five times <laughs> on stream here. Virion in fewer battles than usual. Like, he gets benched quickly, but... 4 is definitely kind of low. That one kill we gave to Sully, because we actually thought we were going to use her. <laughs> I think that big kill was a chapter two. Yeah, that was the one where we got got into a position where he had to go on the mountain and kill that soldier with his massive 81 displayed hit. Saul so continued his services of the Elite and Knight and led crucial missions across the realm. His scatterbrained gaffes sometimes got on Pan's nerves. But the two still made a happy life together. So 126 kills for Stahl, 10 for Pan. Nice. I think a disproportionate amount of combat with Stahl there was in like the first two thirds of the game. <laughs> when we got his defense nominally high and then promoted him and he kind of just was able to stand in front of most physical enemies. It's not too much unlike when we did uh, the Kellum carry run, except Stull was a bit faster, even discounting the uh, stat bases we threw at him. Because comparatively, Kellum struggled to double generals, whereas Stahl doubled them fairly comfortably, even sans stat basers. But he definitely still needed help. And there was this Probably about three quarters of the way through the game, there was definitely a point where I felt like Saul was just not tanky enough to actually do anything. At least any frontlining. So he kind of had to be just in and out fighting one opponent at a time, which slowed his development down a lot too. The <laughs> 50% victory, Rickon Stonks. <laughs> Little. Not as stonks as when we did the actual Rick and Carry run, though. That one was funny because we did actually have him legitimately tanking as a Dark Knight. Not a lot of enemy phase, I think it was two to three enemies at most, but it was still more, way more than I was expecting from Rickon. It was kind of just on his shoulders to do it, too, since we left Virian as a sniper. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was sniper. So Virian couldn't really do uh, much for enemy phasing.
Oh yes, the good old priest opens the orphanage ending and then I guess Olivia decided to dance, eh? I don't think I throw that one together as often, because Libra Alyssa is usually a pretty low-hanging fruit one that's really easy there, too, but... I'm pretty sure that's also not the first time we've done Libra Olivia, either. But yeah, Trish got some kills because we were being a little bit pressured in Chapter 12. 100% victory, yeah. Church, the super competent combat maid. Back before maid was actually a class. Church brought out the hammers. None of this throw platters at people stuff. I'm 100% victory for Basilio, too. <laughs> Do I trust Felicia with a wiver? Um, I mean, I don't trust Corrin's army with much of anything, but we have to, so... Why not? Here we are. 303 kills for Adonal, and 12 for Cordelia. Adonal returned to his tiny village and built a happy life with his mother and his wife Cordelia. The latter, however, continued to train hard. As the knight, and often answered the exalt's call. So at some point we had, well, I guess I say some point, but it was around chapter 11 to 12, where we were able to just throw Donal at a few enemies at a time and you'd mow them down. Didn't get gold, nope. That's definitely going to be Robin, because Robin needed to carry and drag Donal through the first 10 chapters of the game. No, Morgan with a backpack, so Morgan should definitely not have many kills. If anything, it should be Severa, who's got a bit of a body count. Cause she was she was the lead and then Morgan was just providing stats for 90% of her combats. Well, I guess stats and dual strikes for 9% of their battles. There were a few times where Morgan had to gale for us, but... Yeah, see, Severa got the bronze here with 162 kills. <laughs> 27 for Morgan, which is very low compared to what we normally get. Morgan's memory never returned, but he didn't seem to miss it much and lived happily with Severa. Later scholars would speculate that he had come from a different future than the other children. Actually, Severa with that 80% win rate, too, with the 200 battles.
He's definitely able to start abusing that aptitude after a bit. Although... Her starting hit points were so low... <laughs> ...that... I was actually worried at a lot of points that she wouldn't be able to take hits. So she ended up in the weird spot where she had a ton of defense and actually not an impressive amount of hit points. We even had to give her a Seraph robe. Krom, we have to do something. What do you propose we do? Uh, I don't know. I see you're awake now. Hey there. <laughs> there are better places to take a nap than on the ground, you know. <laughs> Give me your hand. Welcome back. It's over now. But to Severa's credit, her strength was in a good place. <laughs> Because we had the setup where Severa, as a dark flyer, preferred to use lances a lot of the time. Because <laughs> she just dealt that much more damage with it. Here's like a 15 to 18 point strength versus magic gap. At least until towards the very end of the game. Where magic had like 25 levels to catch up to the cap strength she had. Not sure Krom is doing much exalting with that record. I mean, it's always deceptive, where the backpacks probably do get a handful more. What should probably count as victories, because they, they get the killing blow with a dual strike. It's a big delay for you. All right, Micah. Also, thanks for the protection, but the the battle's over. So yeah, we still have to take six hundred ish kills with uh, Robin in order to get Donald online. <laughs> but Donald did get three hundred and three kills, so he did his fair share of fighting. For shame, Donald not even getting old. I mean, I don't think that's... Unless we're using... The upper echelon of secondary carries, they're probably not going to overtake Robin, because it takes so long to get the other people running. Have I done a no Robin run? No, I have not. Something that I could plan. Well, it'd probably not be a no Robin, but it'd be a Robin is banned after like chapter four or something. Run. It would probably involve a lot of intense movement shenanigans to try to feed stuff to Krom. War Monk Robin? I mean, would, would probably still function quite well for a while. 
because it's Robin. It's mainly the worm on caps would become a problem after like two thirds of the way through the game because they're pretty garbo. <laughs> to illustrate. Without taking modifiers into account. Four monk caps out 40 strength and 41 speed. Which I guess would still be able to get into the Um, setups where they would double. But it'd be likely depending a lot on dual strikes. Also, 38 defenses. Uh, a little bit worrisome. But yeah, if I were gonna, if I were gonna do something along those lines, I probably wouldn't do like he were Robin or anything. It'd be just we actually bench Robin and move on. Actually, I have tech. I have been brainstorming something along those lines for when September rolls around. I haven't gotten all the rules laid out for it yet, but it's, it'll be one of the. Should be one of the runs on offer once we get there. But I'm still, still busy sorting things out, so nothing's completely finalized yet. But yeah, so finished a little earlier tonight, but there's nothing else I really wanted to do, so... Uh, if we got someone I can pass you all on to, I'll do that otherwise. We might just be done here. Hmm. Yeah, looking real quiet. Alright, well, that's gonna do it, but we'll be back on Wednesday and Thursday to return to the blind story run of Octopath Traveler 2. I'm guessing we're about halfway through the game, give or take, and things are ramping up. Beyond that, um... For Friday, Sunday, Monday, we're going to be starting a new Fire Emblem run. Um, I was thinking of doing some kind of uh, footlock, footlock challenge for one of the games. I'm not entirely sure which yet. I was kind of looking at either Three Houses or Engage, just because they're a little more flexible with the reclassing stuff, so... We can just flip the characters over instead of being like, oh, yeah, we, we banned two-thirds of the cast, like with the older games. 
Engage beam run. Maybe. Engage might get kind of funny spamming infantry just because then everyone will end up with backup. <laughs> And then just chain guards or chain attacks flying everywhere. Yeah, three hours with no flyers is what it would for sure end up being, because it's footlock, so it'd be no flyers, no cavalry. But the reason I'm slightly hesitant with three houses is because Bane's only ended up being something similar to that. <laughs> Where we did end up using a ton of infantry, even though we had usually had Wyvern, Yuri, and stuff like that. If I want to do another Alpost run, I'd say you'd say Cordelia deserves another or just start another one after a star performance of Donald's speed booster. Mayhaps, although that would have to be a different kind of run. Cause if I'm doing a footlock run, well no, I guess technically we could reclass Cordelia to Merc, I guess. I don't know, that might be a weird run for Cordelia if we were to do Awakening Footlock. <laughs> Bates run could probably find something cursed to do with that. Yeah, I've got... Hmm. I mean, I got a few things on the west side. Actually, that's, that's probably one of the games where it's... I've got the least cursed ideas on the document I've got set up for September. <laughs> and Footlock... Hmm, Footlock Fates... I guess I would get weird in some places. Like the pro the problem with Fates is that it it's too similar. Even though it's different, it's also too similar to Awakening. So it's like I end up looking at it, not wanting to play it, and wanting to play Awakening instead. <laughs> Take your kids to work, Revelation. Eh. I could plan that out. That would take some work before I'm ready to do it, so it'd definitely not be the next run, or probably even part of September. Because <laughs> that would have to be very precise. And very likely just use up like all my deployment slots to make marriages in a way that would probably be very stupid. You think it'd be impossible without grinding? Um, it might be. Oh, you have done it. <laughs> yeah, so I'd have to have a spreadsheet to specifically plan it out. Because there would not be very much room to mess around and not be building marriages on every map. It's not impossible without grinding, it's not even impossible without spreadsheets. 
Suppose I'd still want to spreadsheet it to make sure I'm staggering it so that it's all set up properly. It's impossible as getting enough master seals to promote all the parents without selling every weapon you own. I mean, it's it's just gonna end up like when I did all the kids and recruit all the kids in Awakening where like at least half the parents didn't even get raised. Or maybe one or two levels above base if that. Raise all the parents to at least 20. I don't think I'd bother with that. Because <laughs> it's, it's not like they'd ever be relevant. Any of the characters that that I marry off and bench should, even if they hit level twenty, it wouldn't matter. Which is the same reason I didn't bother with uh, seriously raising most of the awakening parents, if I could help it when I did that, the take your kids to work awakening version. Anyhow, though, I'm gonna cut it here, so thanks for watching, everyone. Hope to see you on Wednesday for Octopath Traveler 2, if not, on Friday for... I guess whichever game I settle on for doing the Footlock Challenge, and, uh, have yourselves a good night.